In this video, we're going to talk about five effects that will enhance your motion graphics and video compositing with After Effects in under a minute each. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. Like the title says, we're going to talk about these five quick effects that you can apply to enhance your motion graphics or your video, especially when you're compositing VFX on video. And each of these five effects will be able to stand on their own and you only have to touch one or two parameters per effect. First effect we're gonna talk about, which I think is very underrated, it is the noise effect. And this effect is really good when you're working with motion graphics or you're compositing elements on top of your video. And what noise does, it brings a little bit of grain into your static motion graphics or your compositing elements where you need a little bit of noise and grain to kind of make it look like a motion picture as if you're shooting on a camera. So go ahead and check out this effect. So here's a general example of a composition and you can see the banding of the gradient here that's moving around. Other than the banding of the gradient, this scene looks really clean. If I was going to mix this with video, which has grain in it, this clip doesn't have grain. So we can really enhance this really quick by adding some noise. So create a new adjustment layer, and you're going to want to do this for all the other effects that we're going to use in this video. And this effect is underneath the noise and grain, and it's called noise. And simply, if we can zoom in here, I'll show you what I'm talking about. I'll set this up to like, you know, somewhere between 4 to 8%, depending on the clip. And this helps break things up by a little bit. So now, it was nice and clean before, but now it looks a little bit more realistic if you're mixing this in with video. And it obviously helps with the banding, especially if you increase it even further. So depending on the effect, I would say if you're going for something that you want to keep clean, keep it at 4%. And if you want to just be a little bit more aesthetic with it, you can set it up to 8%. Uh, so this is a really cool effect to play with when you're compositing motion graphics. Next up is optics compensation, and I'm really liking this effect right now. And what it does, it adds a little bit of distortion to the edges of your video or motion graphics. It's a nice way to add a little bit more you know, perspective to the center of your composition or video. Let's go ahead and take a look. And we can find this effect underneath the distort menu, and it's optics compensation. And simply, all we have to do is increase the field of view, and we get a little bit of distortion here, and this is not what I want. And I'm going to click on reverse lens distortion, and now we can kind of distort our image a little bit and it looks really cool here so it can before and after and if you want you can easily use this as a nice transition and if you apply this as a keyframe it really warps the perspective of your composition and it can also be added as a nice reveal third up on the list is glow and you probably have used the glow effect before if you're into after effects and the glow effect is a really nice way to enhance your motion graphics especially your titles and put more emphasis on what's important so take a look at how to use the glow effect correctly and the glow effect is underneath the stylized menu and of course just adding a little bit of glow just boosts up your titles or whatever your layer you're applying this to and it looks really good by itself but let's say if you want to change the color of this you know you could color a you can change the color of it and mostly it doesn't always change it if you change it to alpha channel you don't really have a strong reading of this so what else you just doing with the glow effect when you use it if you really want to maximize this you can change your color down here and go to the glow colors and change the original colors to A and B colors. And then go to color lupin and change it to sawtooth B greater than A. And now we come here and increase the glow intensity. And I would increase the glow threshold by just a little bit. And then what we can do here is duplicate the glow effect and then increase the radius even more to add a stronger effect to this. And overall, we can add a very nice glow effect to our titles. At number four on our list, we have a very fast solution called the CC Vignette, which allows you to just add a nice vignette to the edges of your video or motion graphics. Before, you would have had to use a solid and use a mask to create a vignette. Now you can just apply effect and you can enhance your footage or motion graphics within a couple of seconds. And the CC Vignette effect is underneath the stylized menu and it's right here. And simply as a nice vignette, increase the amount and it's a nice way to just add focus to the center of your scene instead of having to go through creating a solid to do this. So it's a pretty easy effect to use to help to help enhance the mood of your video or motion graphics. And last up on our list we have brightness and contrast. And you're like, what? A color correction effect? How is that a doable you know, effect to enhance your video? Obviously it's color correction, but what I'm talking about here is using brightness and contrast as a legitimate effect to add a flicker to your you know, motion graphics or video. And here's our composition for our last technique. And it would be really cool to add some little bit of flashes to this composition. But let's come here to the top and make sure to go to color correction and we'll add brightness and contrast. Now, we're not gonna increase any values here. What we're gonna do is alt click the stopwatch for brightness. And we're gonna type in wiggle, open parenthesis. And for the first number, you might wanna type in two and this dictates how many, you know, wiggles are gonna be per second. So two wiggles per second, we'll type in comma and how intense we want it to be. So, and we'll set it up to 100. 
close parenthesis. And now there's a little bit of a brightness wiggle to this. And I increased the number of wiggles to 10, so now we can apparently see that there is a brightness and contrast, you know, wiggle effect going on here. And what's cool about this is that, you know, maybe we only want this effect around our titles, for example. So I'll come here and create a mask here, and we'll have F on our keyboard for feather. Now it's only happening around our titles. So this is a great way to draw attention to a specific element within your motion graphics or video. So you can be creative with the brightness and contrast effect along with these other four effects that we've talked about in this video. If you're looking to really speed up your workflow and grow your business, check out Envato Elements where you can download unlimited After Effects project files and Premiere project file templates from a library of thousands. Also, Envato Elements allows you to download unlimited graphics for branding like business cards, flyers, and other print material you need to succeed in your business. You can also download thousands of stock video and photos and even website templates. And this is just for $16.50 a month where you can have unlimited access to all the creative elements you need to produce professional projects in a time efficient manner. To learn more, check out our links in the video description. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video and found it helpful and you can hopefully speed up your workflow and produce awesome results. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel, Sunduck Film. We post two post-production tutorials every single week right here on this channel. So hit that subscribe button, hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the video description and always create things.